Hey guys, welcome to Wheels and Wheels. I wanted to give you a overview after one month of owning my 23 Kia EV6. So stay tuned for more on Wheels and Wheels and we're gonna go over all its pluses and minuses so far, which really, I don't really think I have any minuses yet. So stay tuned for more, here we go. So this is my 23 Kia EV6. It's in the yacht blue and it's a GT line, rear wheel drive edition. And what I like about these cars is the size is nice and roomy. You have a nice spacious trunk in the back. And you can flip down the seats with a handle right here. Seats go down. So you can flip either one side or the other. I have a cargo protector here as well. I do love all its really sexy looking lines and the lights come all the way across the back at night um, your brake lights are here I love this nice beautiful detail around the car and the spoiler up here is really really cool looking as you can see it so the car comes with some nice rims already um, I love that the, the handles pop out like that, as you see, and you can open the car. The back seat is really roomy, and the seats are kind of like a suede type seats. This is an option that came with the car. It was like a $300 option. It's like a, um, the white with the black, so it makes it look really sporty. And you can see up here in the front as well, here's a... The seats look really nice. They're cooled and heated seats both. So it's really nice and comfortable for the summer. I love all the space that it has inside. It's really roomy. It has a, mirror, it has a Meridian sound system. And this detailing here on the dash is really cool how they have all these stripes. Um, that's some, somewhat of a sporty look and there's also this lighting system inside and i have it set to blue you can change that to different colors as well and it, it's also lit, lighted down here as well i'll try to give you maybe a, a night view so you can really actually see it all at night i'm going to try to give you a night view so you can see it all at night so uh, i do love the color on this car it's absolutely gorgeous it has really nice um piano black mirrors and that's standard and these piano pillars as well and what's nice about these cars is that they have a sunroof so you can get a sunroof with the gt line and i do love that also with the key you can open all the windows in the front here so the interior is nice and roomy you got plenty of space it looks really sporty. So I do love this sunroof. You can open up just the cover and also the sunroof does pop, pop out as well. It has these great uh, lights you can turn on here as well. And here's your mirror and you do have a light up here. Some of the Kias don't bring the light uh, for your vanity. So you do have a light in your vanity in this car. Um, it's been driving great. I've been getting about four to five miles per kilowatt. Um, I just put some juice in it today. We're up to 82%. And I have the AC on. The range is telling me it's got 263 miles. Uh, so far it's been great. I've taken it to uh, charge at uh, the mall for free charging and I've also taken it to Electrify America uh, I've taken it only once and I was able to get 50 kilowatt charging um, so it wasn't uh, a great test I wanted to test 150 kilowatt uh, charging so I want to work on getting that done so far I haven't had any issues with the car I've enjoyed driving it it drives really smooth tracks really well and I like the regenerative braking. You can set it to four different settings. 
Um, here it goes one through four. I have it set at two. And uh, it breaks, you know, not so quickly. It, it breaks a little bit slower. So I do like that. Um, I want to take it on a ride to the Keys, and I'm probably going to try that doing that this weekend, hopefully. Um, what I do like about the Kia is that you have two screens in the front. Um, other car manufacturers don't have that. A uh, really popular one, they only have the one screen in the middle. So having these two screens is nice. You have a lot of controls on your steering wheel as well. I love this touch uh, button for your power. Your cool seats control is right here. It's just a touch. And your heated seats for both driver and passenger. Other models have it with a um, little uh, click. Uh, and you can see it has plenty of space here. It has wireless charging. Uh, one thing that I don't like so far is that you have to plug in to get Apple CarPlay and you have to connect it to a certain um, outlet in the car here. I'm hoping that they're going to change that with an update, hopefully. Um, it would be nice to have uh, wireless CarPlay as well, but it does work really well. Uh, once you plug in, it uh, recognizes it really quickly. I do love that you have uh, surround view cameras. You can turn it on here and you see all your lines, you see all the way around the car. Love that. And I also like that it's really responsive when you get close to an object in the front. It turns on the cameras right away. Uh, I've had another car, it just, you had to turn on the camera to look in the front after you got the warning signals. So that's a plus, I do like that. I love this rotary uh, drive control and the park button. And you have an auto hold feature so when you uh, have that engaged, uh, when you stop, the car is not going to go forward at all when you let go of the brake. So that's a nice feature to have. Okay guys, so I was saying that there isn't a lot of things that I don't like about the EV6. Uh, I can tell you uh, two small things that do slightly annoy me. <laughs> so one of them is that rear panel in the back. It's very small. You can see there's a little slit there. So there is a little bit of a blind spot back there. It's not terrible because you have, you know, your blind spot monitoring on your mirrors as well as when you put your turn signal, you have in the EV6 where it gives you this video of your car with the tech package on the right or the left. So you get a little video there as well. So it really hasn't been too annoying. Um, that's one thing that I kind of don't like and there's also a noise that comes from the seat belts in the back seat hitting against the side um, doors or the panels on the side so I'm going to show you what I've tried to do. I've uh, already bought some uh, cushion for the seat belts so I'm going to show you that. So this is the dog uh, seat belt. But anyway, I bought this on Amazon. It's like a seat belt protector and it kind of helps stop. So what happens is when you're turning, the seat belt, you know, the centrifugal force just moves this way and it makes a noise. As you can tell, it could be kind of annoying. So I, what I've done is I put this into the slat here. I don't have too many backseat riders, so that keeps it from, you know, moving. So that's helped a little bit. And another thing I'm going to try is I'm going to try to put in this space right here where this plastic is because it's kind of like a hard plastic. I'm going to put like a felt there and I bought some felt paper um, that's uh, stick on felt paper. So I'm going to cut a piece of this and I'm going to attach it uh, I guess right around this area here. I'm going to see if that helps as well. I would imagine that it will because as you can see if this hits here it kind of dampens it a little bit. So I guess we'll try that and as well as having the seatbelt tucked in in here is actually what's working out so far to be the best thing. So as you can see that uh, little quarter window in the back is kind of small but really that's the only two issues that I'm you know it's a little annoying so that's what i can tell you from being an ev owner so far 
And I guess another thing for backseat riders would be uh, this little angle here. You got to be careful as you get in and out of the car. So that's another thing to watch for as well. So I hope you stay tuned for more on Wheels and Wheels. I'm Aldo, your host. Thanks so much for watching. So far, I've been really happy with this car. Um, I'll keep you posted if I have any issues. And I did get a little dent where I'm going to take the car to get fixed tomorrow. Uh, I got a little dent at Home Depot, so I'm going to have it fixed. It was on the uh, driver's side uh, rear door. So I'm going to uh, uh, post a link on that uh, fixed tomorrow. So stay tuned for more on Wheels and Wheels as we learn about EVs and the EV life. So thanks for watching and please subscribe.